hey, if you can see evidence of the lotion that you're using and you're a deep tissue massage therapist, you're probably using too much lotion. How do we know how much lotion to use? Glad you asked, let's talk about it. Okay, so the right amount of lotion is going to be different for everybody. Hey, there's a shocker, right? But if you're using deep tissue work, you wanna make sure of a few things. Now, the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure you're getting a hook into the tissues. What do I mean by a hook? Let's use this table as an example. So this table has different layers, just like the different layers in the body. So we've got a blanket, we've got a sheet, we've got a bottom sheet, we have a table protector, we have a table warmer, and then we have the table itself. So we have a bunch of different layers, right? So I wanna be able to affect all of those layers by hooking into the tissues. Now, if we wanted to work just superficially, what that's gonna look like is we're gliding over the top of the table and we're only affecting this very top sheet. So the blanket, we're putting an effect onto the blanket. Now, if I were wanting to affect the deeper layers of this table or the body, that means I wanna get a hook. And what do I mean by hook? Well, let's look at it a little more closely. If we hook into the tissues or the table, what that's gonna look like is we're dragging and we're able to, I'm dragging the sheets underneath of me. And what you wanna look for is that ripple in front of the work. That lets you know that you're getting a pretty good hook. So then the next question is, how much lotion does it require to get that hook? Back to my initial answer, it's gonna differ for everybody. We wanna use enough to hydrate our tissues and make sure the person on the table, their tissues are hydrated. So that's gonna be different depending on the time of year, depending on your level of hydration, depending on the level of hydration of the person on the table. So it's always different. Here's what I suggest. Start off with little to none first. So test your tissues, do an assessment. What does it feel like before I actually start doing any work? Can I get away without using any lotion at all? Here's a little tip. Use lotion that's water-based and not oil-based. That will also allow you to get better grip because that water-based stuff will soak into the tissues more. The oil-based stuff is not gonna soak into the tissues as well and not allow you to get that hook in the tissues. So back to what we were talking about earlier, how much do I need to use? My suggestion is use a little bit at first. You can always add more, but it's more difficult to remove once you've added too much. Let me give you a description of what it's like to hook into the tissues. I got this from a book I read from Art Riggs. It's called The um, Visual Description of Deep Tissue Work. Great book, you should check it out. Anyway, in this book he talks about opening a door. So that doorknob, if you put a lot of lotion or oil on your hands and you try to open that doorknob, you're not gonna get a very good grip and it's gonna be tough and you're gonna have to use more muscle to grab onto that doorknob to open it up. If you don't use any lotion at all or oil, you can grab that doorknob and open it really easy. So that's the difference between getting a hook in the tissues and gliding over the top of the tissues. Now also, when we're moving through the tissues, we need to be mindful about the tissues we're moving through. So once again, I'm gonna quote Art Riggs in his book, and he talks about a ship at dock. So think about a large ship, let's just say a cruise ship or something about that size. If you were to take a running start and run at that cruise ship and drop your elbow into it, running at full speed and try to drop your elbow into it and try to move that ship, it's not gonna move at all. But guess what? If you get close to that ship and you put your hands on it and you start to push slowly, you're gonna affect that ship and that ship is gonna start to move in that water. So that's the same feeling that we have when we're working through a hook in the tissues. We want to allow ourselves to work through the tissues and not plow through the tissues. That's another great quote I got from my friend Eric Stevenson. His quote is, allow, don't plow. So we're just allowing ourselves to move through the tissues. So think about this. If you have a slippery surface, whether it be a client's back, um, the sidewalk, any type of slippery surface, the more pressure you apply, 
the more unstable you're going to be. So if you're trying to use massive amounts of pressure on a slippery surface, it's going to be really hazardous for what you're doing for yourself and for your client on the table. So it only makes sense to have that hook in the tissues, especially if you're using a tool like your elbow and drop it in with an elbow. Think about working smarter and not harder. All right, hey, there you have it. Quick little run through on how much lotion to use if you're a deep tissue massage therapist and how to dive into the tissues if you're a deep tissue massage therapist. Hey, if you're liking what you're seeing and you wanna see more of this, I'm gonna invite you to be my friend. Click that subscribe button. It lets me know that you wanna be my friend because I wanna be your friend. So let's be friends. Click that subscribe button and I wanna make more videos that you like to see. So tell me, what do you wanna see more of? So hey, thanks for being my friend and we'll see you in the next video.